the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Together in the clergy, there are stances, the religious women, the religious men, and the people of the island. We join you, our shelters of San Isidro, and your pastor, Father Jerry, in celebrating your golden anniversary of San Parish. 50 years of God's saving action with you, the people of this place. Um, we remember today for all the people who were instrumental in putting up this parish. I remember Archbishop Flores, who is in the decree, effective July 21, 1973, now for this parish to become the parish of San Isidro. And remember all the pastors in the past, we remember all the landowners, all the parish leaders, the Nakayuk Finance Council, uh, Parish Council, all the people that were active in the ministry in putting up together the vibrant community. In this class, we will also have a confirmation of six of our young brothers and sisters. We include them in our prayers that the Holy Spirit may empower them to be um, Christians that uh, will continue to devote their lives for the good of our church. Um, as one parish community, we recognize that we also are in need of God's mercy and grace. So we come to Him asking for His mercy. I confess to Almighty God and the name of my brothers and sisters that I have prayed this same in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have done to be, through my fall, through my fall, through my most Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord of God. May Almighty God and mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our destiny.
from proclamation and roll to my covenant. Then I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The word of the Lord.
built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea of Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail. Against him. I give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. Jamie Andra Melonian, Rihanna Duenas, Ray Ara Cruz. Christopher Conception, James Soriano. Bear with every father, Romeo de Pontopar, our apostolic administrator, the Paris community of San Isidro wishes to present to you each young man and women who have been prepared and are ready to receive the fullness of Christian initiation in the sacrament of confirmation. Each candidate has been well instructed and is accompanied by sponsor. It is my privilege to present them to you the San Isidro Confirmation Class of 2023. Let us give them a big round of applause. Thank you, Father Cherry. Congratulations, please be seated. In July of 1973, the Most Reverend Felix Curtis C. Morris, Bishop of Agadia, established officially this Paris of San Isidro. In his letter to Mr. Roy B. Duenas, the president of Malolo CIC and Paris Council, he said, the faith community of Malolo will become
now at Paris, effective July 21, 1973. However, long before 1973 sufficient establishment, the building up of the Paris had already begun. The sea had been sown. In 1946-47, Tim Manuel Chrysostom and Conception Luhan Mel donated a portion of their land to the Catholic Church for the purpose of building a Catholic chapel. In 1948, the chapel, a concept card, became a reality and the first San Cedro Fiesta was celebrated on May 10 of that year. Since then, a fiesta was held each year in honor of San Isidro. But this concept chapel was blown away during Night of Planning in November 1949. Father Julius, poet and Capuchin, solicited funds to rebuild the chapel and dedicated the newly constructed frame building on 10 December 1950. However, on November 11, 1962, Titan Carrick totally destroyed the chapel, leaving behind only the concrete foundation. People then had to travel to Ilahan for church services. As years went by, more and more people migrated to Malone, making the need for the church greater and more evident. In 1969, the church building that we see now became a reality and this was shortly after the construction of the Carmelite Monastery. Since then, people have been attending church services here and more people continue to migrate to Malone. On March 3, 1973, this church was dedicated, and four months later, the Paris of San Isidro was officially established by Bishop Felix Berger Flores. Today, 50 years after, we are celebrating the Jubilee. We celebrate the Church of San Isidro. We celebrate not just this church building, but the building up of the church community, the people of God, the mystical body of Christ. We celebrate the living faith of San Isidro Church. Central to this celebration is thanksgiving to God for the many blessings He has showered upon the church of the Lord. These blessings are manifestations of the parish's living faith and so, through the years, different ministries have been established. The Paris Council, Finance Council, extraordinary ministers of communion, lectors, altar servants, the choir, faith formation or CCD, Christian mothers, Marian devotions, celebrations of the sacraments, religious and civic programs and activities. All of these are signs and manifestations of the Paris living faith, and so we thank God for all these. However, like any other parish, San Isidro has encountered many difficulties, even rejection, challenges, failures, and problems, including the not so recent cases of sexual abuse by some clergy and lay persons, the recent COVID-19 pandemic, and the, de and the devastating typhoon horror. But these have become opportunities for growth. These are God's pruning. The Lord says in John chapter 15, He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And everyone that does, he proves, so that he bears more fruit. Daniel Defoe, the author of Robinson Crusoe, 
once satirized the church as a place of worship in these words. Whenever God erects a house of prayer, the devil always fills a chapel there. And it will be found upon examination, the devil has the largest congregation. In one sense, the foe was right. In the parable of the weed, the Lord likened the church to a field of full of weed and weeds. Saints and sinners fill the church. And perhaps you heard of the parishioner who was chided by his pastor for not coming to Sunday Mass. He retorted sarcastically, Father, why should I go to church on Sunday with such a bunch of phonies and hypocrites? The priest replied, Well, son, we always have room for one more. During the past 50 years, two principles stand out, continuity and change. I say change because the San Isidro of today is so different from the baby Paris of 1973 that it is hard to believe the transformation that took place in such a brief span of half a century. Yes, science and membership tell us nothing about the faith that sparked this, this growth. Throughout all the changes, there was a continuity of spiritual purpose and Christian practice and living the faith. This is what makes San Isidro of today identical with the San Isidro of yesterday year. Indeed, it is in this holy place that the words of Jesus Christ are fulfilled. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And in the gospel just proclaimed, he says, and the gates of the better world shall not be made against me. We gather therefore today to remember the past, to thank God for its strength, and to beg, beg pardon for its weakness. Today we also ask God's blessing on a future which seems to have within it elements of great uncertainty as well as great hope. However, that future must go behind the outward form of the church and rediscover its core. And the core of our belief and of our church is the person of Jesus Christ. Our religion is not based primarily on rules and regulations, on opinions, issues, and controversies. Our religion is based on a person, the person of Jesus Christ. We believe in Jesus Christ, the person who walked the roads of the Holy Land, teaching, healing, saving, serving, inviting, and loving. Jesus who was also bruised, derided, rejected, cursed, and defied, and the Jesus we preach and to whom we have given our lives is this human, loving, ever-present, and ever-caring person. And it is this Jesus which resonates in our hearts and in the hearts of very many people who believe. We face the future with the confidence which comes from the words of Jesus echoing in our minds. I am with you always, yes, until the end of time. For the Catholics, do you renounce Satan and all his words and empty promises. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? 
Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as it was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for this, His adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that He will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with His abundant gifts and through His anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, free them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us only pray to God Almighty Father and be one mind in one in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity will proceed from His Holy Spirit, our Lord. We pray for Archbishop Emeritus Michael J. Burns. May he be filled.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God Almighty.
Let us pray. May the people consecrated to you, Lord, we pray, receive the fruits and joy of your blessing, that the festive homage they now offer you today in the body may return upon them a spiritual gift. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, the Lord, those who have anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son so that with all trials overcome and through their words and charity foster their growth in the world through christ our lord Amen. please be seated and may i only like say that we have done for this occasion that is the mission
Bless us, O Lord, and bring us thy gifts which are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Ufuta Utunga Anaka Hulu Ia Tazani Pila Uli Maragua Utanu Zetasi Uhangi
Tengo labrada la tierra, la semilla está escogida con la esperanza que llueva para sembrar enseguida. Tú que fuiste labrador, ayúdame en mi labranza, donde tengo la esperanza derramando mi sudor. Tú que fuiste labrador, ayúdame en mi labranza, donde tengo la esperanza derramando mi sudor. Acuérdate San Isidro, ay de la recomendación que soy de tu devoción. A ti te ruego y te pido, 15 de mayo es tu fiesta y traeremos en tu honor un conjunto de acordeón para mayor gloria vuestra. 15 de mayo es tu fiesta y traeremos en tu honor un conjunto de acordeón para mayor gloria vuestra.
labrador Ay patrono de los labriegos Tú que estás allá en el cielo Me vas a hacer un favor Me le mires al señor Que con su mano derecha Que me ayude en la cosecha Que soy un agricultor Me le pides al señor Que con su mano derecha Que me ayude en la cosecha Que soy un agricultor Tengo labrada la tierra, la semilla está escogida Con la esperanza que llueva para sembrar enseguida Tú que fuiste labrador, ayúdame en mi labranza Donde tengo la esperanza derramando mi sudor Tú que fuiste labrador, ayúdame en mi labranza Donde tengo la esperanza derramando mi sudor Acuérdate San Isidro, ay de la recomendación, que soy de tu devoción, a ti te ruego y te pido, 15 de mayo es tu fiesta y traeremos en tu honor un conjunto de acordeón para mayor gloria vuestra. 15 de mayo es tu fiesta y traeremos en tu honor un conjunto de acordeón para mayor gloria vuestra.